because they are preying upon our children uh, across the state and particularly in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now at five, progress in green country's battle against synthetic drugs. Law enforcement has been way behind in the fight. They admit that, but today the Tulsa County Sheriff's Department, the group back here behind me made an effort to change all that. This was the scene all around Tulsa. Sheriff's deputies serving warrants, suspects led away in cuffs. It's the culmination of a three year long investigation. It's a quality of life issue. They're killing our kids and we're just not going to tolerate it. More than 150 deputies are involved in the warrant sweep. It aims to take millions of dollars of drugs off the streets. 14 warrants served, 13 at stores, one at a home. How bad is K2? Earlier this year, a number of homeless shelters banned people using it. They say just the smell on people's clothes was making volunteers sick. All of us had migraines. Most everybody in the office has had a bronchial infection continuously since about November. The drugs are made from a chemical compound that's sprayed on grass clippings to make synthetic marijuana. It's sold under names like K2, Spice, and others. They're often sold in stores as incense, but they are illegal. Law enforcement says they've gotten complaints about how addictive it is and how it's destroying lives. If you think that this is an issue that is not going to impact you, you need to think again. We're going to do something about it, and today is a perfect example of how local law enforcement is recognizing this issue in our community, and we're taking proactive steps, steps to uh, rid our community of it. Deputies say this is just the beginning. Sheriff's Office is sending a message to other stores selling this stuff. They're coming after you. And I just talked to members of the Tulsa County Sheriff's Department. They tell me 21 arrests were made today, 19 of those specifically due to K2 and synthetic marijuana. Coming up in just a few minutes, we're going to talk with a, a person who has seen firsthand the effects of what synthetic marijuana can do. We're going to talk to Stephen Whitaker of the John 316 mission. Again, that coming up uh, here shortly. Um, going in depth now with some disturbing numbers about the popularity of synthetic drugs with young people in a 2012 survey. One in nine American 12th graders reported using synthetic drugs in the past year. It was second only to marijuana. A local drug doctor tells us that K2 is similar to marijuana, but has different effects. It generally causes a person to lose their sense of reality. People think they can fly or walk out in front of cars and things like that. It's, it's, a, really, it's a drug that really messes your mind up. The doctor says the K2 isn't as addictive as other drugs, but because it's readily available, it is popular with the teens. If you notice a teen acting strangely, you are encouraged to get them help. Now, coming up tonight at 6, the different names that the drug goes by on the streets and more coverage on tonight's arrest. New 